I've got a really interesting question from Jules Merrifield here. How can I add a live website to a PowerPoint presentation? I tried live web, but in Windows 10 it doesn't work. Live web is a, a third party add-on for uh, PowerPoint and it hasn't been updated in quite some time. So that one's not very good. Um, but Jules gave some more context to, uh, to this particular question. School wants a kiosk running in a present, running the PowerPoint presentation in the foyer, cycling through various photos, but then showing the web page that has the stats for their whiz bang new solar array live. That sounds uh, like it could be something very interesting. So uh, I thought I'd see if I could try and find a solution. Now, I did find something, it's not fantastic, but uh, let's demonstrate and see what you can actually do with it. If I jump over to Chrome here, what I've found is this particular web page, and I'll put the link down below, to an add-in for um, Microsoft PowerPoint. It's developed by Microsoft, uh, and it's called Web Viewer, and it supposedly does what it is that we're wanting to do. The unfortunate thing here from 134 reviews, there's two stars. There's a lot of people gave it five, a lot of people gave it one. So uh, it's one of those polarizing add-ins. But let's, uh, let's have a look at it. You click Get It Now here. It says uh, you're signed in to the Department of Education. Okay, no worries. Continue. It's taking me to Microsoft 365 to complete this process. And Dave Smith has sent me something. I'll put that away. And uh, here in Web Viewer, uh, I can choose the option to open in PowerPoint. So this is going to open in PowerPoint 2016 or later. Uh, and I get Open in PowerPoint Desktop. And yeah, this is coming from Microsoft. I trust it. Yes, OK. It's launching PowerPoint. And up on my screen is a couple of slides, or are a couple of slides. And uh, this is the new Web Viewer plugin or add in that it's gone and created for me. So it's created two slides. Uh, this one here, I'll put, move, that, move that one up first. So this is uh, some instructions for it. And this is the page that you're going to put. Um, web content onto. So what web content do we want? It's suggesting Wikipedia. That's not very good because that's fairly static. What I want to do is actually test it with a web page that changes. So what I've done is I've found a little web page here, which is an online clock. I'll just move out of the way here. Uh, and what we want to do is have this particular web page in my PowerPoint. So I'll come in here paste that in there. You'll notice that it's already got HTTPS. It has to be a secure web page. You can't do with HTTP. So it will not let you do that. But if I delete that and move this up a little bit and click preview, what we'll find is this web page just appears in the browser. And I can do some things like click on there, make it bigger, adjust the screen and so on. I can probably delete this banner across the top. Uh, so if I want to do um, the page, there it is on my screen. Okay, what if I want to make a PowerPoint? I could perhaps put heaps of other slides in here, obviously, but I won't bother about that because that's something everybody knows how to do. But if I jump into the slide sorter, um, I can select all the slides. I can go to transitions and say I want this transition, which does a push, and I want it to do that push after 10 seconds, say, well, let's make it five seconds, 05, um, 0.00, apply to all. So after five seconds, it'll do that. After five seconds, it'll do that. Sounds uh, reasonable. If I go to the slideshow, I can set up the slideshow and I can say I want it to be browsed as a kiosk and that will set that up automatically. And I say, okay to that. And OK, so let's uh, jump back in here and let's go to the slide. So um, actually, if I jump in here, so this is the time 12, 21 and 18 seconds. So I'll jump back into slide one. I'll go to the slide show. It shows this and after five seconds, it should go to the next slide. And let's see what happens. 12, 21, 26, 32. And it's just sort of stopped, stopped at that. It's not showing me that live. But let's see if it's jumped to 37 or whatever it is after five seconds or so. No, it's gone back to 32. So it doesn't actually, when you do the slideshow, it doesn't show the thing live as a website. It doesn't show the website live. Interestingly, if I hit escape to quit that, it whenever I'm just in the development of the slide, 
it's showing the live website. So I don't know why it doesn't do the website live when you uh, play it as a recurring slideshow, but the as a tool, it seems to work, sort of. Whether it's going to work happily for what this particular school wants, I don't know. Give it a go, see if you uh, like it, see if it's any good, and um, I'll see you next time.